Joanna bought only 15 cent stamps and 29 cent stamps. Those of us who remember first class 29 cent stamps are starting to get up there in age. So we want to know how many 15 cent stamps did she buy? Well, statement number one told us that she bought a total of $4.40 of stamps. Well, that's interesting because we know that that number is divisible by five. And of course, no matter how many 15 cent stamps we buy, that will be divisible by five. But the 29 cent stamps, we'd have to buy some multiple of five in order for the combination to come out to be a multiple of five. So the first thing we notice is that we can't buy zero 29 cent stamps because then we'd have to buy 440 all in 15 cent stamps and that just doesn't go in, 15 doesn't go in evenly to 440, so that just doesn't work. So then the next option is to buy five 29 cent stamps. Well, if we buy five 29 cent stamps, that costs $1.45. And so 440 minus $1.45 is $2.95. Well, unfortunately, $2.95 is not divisible by 15 either. So that's not going to work. We can't buy $2.95 worth of 15 cent stamps. Next possibility, if we buy 10 29 cent stamps, well, of course, that would be 290, and 440 minus 290 is conveniently a dollar fifty. And of course, we can buy a dollar fifty worth of uh, 15 cent stamps. So this case works. So we'll keep that in mind. That's one case that definitely works. If we buy 15 29 cent stamps, well, it turns out that that costs four dollars and thirty five cents. That leaves us only a thin nickel, and of course we can't buy any 15 cent stamps with a nickel. So that doesn't work. So it turns out that the only possibility that is allowed is if we buy exactly 10 29 cent stamps and 10 15 cent stamps. That's the only combination at all that would add up to exactly $4.40. So statement number one allows us to figure out quite a bit as it turns out. Statement number one is sufficient. Statement number two, now this is really tricky. We have to completely forget statement number one, everything we did on statement number one, focus only on statement number two. Statement number two tells us that we have an equal number of 15 cent stamps. So we bought N 15 cent stamps and N 29 cent stamps. We bought an equal number of them. Well, of course, this by itself tells us nothing. We could have bought three of each, we could have bought 10 of each, we could have bought 647 of each. We have no idea. So this statement by itself does not allow us to determine anything. So this statement by itself is insufficient. Statement number one, sufficient. Statement number two, insufficient. Answer choice A.